Now here is the site of something pretty profound. If you look, you'll see that sign says, what does it say? It says, Blue Nile, one of the great rivers of the world, represented here for us through a very amazing Ethiopian restaurant with a lot of Oromo inflections. That's the specific ethnic group within Ethiopia that's represented at the Blue Nile. Now you'll see there there's a hut and the hut shows the deepest, darkest recesses of Africa. Right in that hut you'll notice there's a fire. In that fire is where I was born. The Blue Nile sign, which is very, it's also very powerful, it looks like this kind of inlaid hier hieroglyphic tile. You'll see that it's actually at the same height level as the holiday sign. If you swim back around. So really, we're not just on Franklin Avenue. We're going on a holiday down to the Nile. Franklin Avenue belongs to all of us, not just, it's not the property of some private corporation, so we have to be really critical about stuff like this. The unauthorized vehicles are being towed away in such a way that it's, the service of towing has been subcontracted out by another small company called Cedar Towing. Cedar Towing, you will notice, is um, located on Hoover Street, 359 Hoover Street. Three times three equals nine. And three and nine are both divisible by three, as you know, and five is in the middle of zero and 10, or one and 10, which makes it the middle number, which means that there's something going on with the symmetry of three and nine and the symmetry of O and O and Hoover. Hoover was someone who did not believe in the state. He believed in private concerns, just like the company that's contracting Cedar Towing to take us away from our public space that is Franklin Avenue. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here. You gotta see hey. this. You gotta see this. Sorry. Hey. Is this a real? What kind of bird is this? Uh, blue jays. Do you know what blue jays do? They make really weird, loud noises. What else do they do? Fly. They don't just fly, they also attack other birds. They're known as pests. They used to be known as the blue pest. What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, don't, wait, I gotta go. No, wait, wait, the blue jays are, there's a reason that the blue jays are there. Not, you have to see this, you have to stand okay. right here to see this because there's a lot going on, watch. First of all, blue jay, Yeah. blue nile. Now, I, now, I wait, 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 wait. Sun? Yeah. Sun. What sun? The sun at the top of the blue nile. Oh. Blue I Nile! Mean, Blue mean, Jay! See? And then if you look, if you look, then you compare, if you compare this, you notice that there's blue up there, green down there. Oh, look! Blue here. Yeah, no, green I here. see. I mean, wait, I wait, can wait, see wait, what wait, you're wait, saying. Wait. Yeah, and then I there's just sun. Think it's a coincidence. And then know? there's the sun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some blue stuff in a sun. You know, I mean, there's a blue stuff in a sun every day. Just look up in the sky, there's blue stuff in the sun. No. It's just like when people draw stuff, when people paint stuff, they, they paint skies and suns. That's, the thing that's, that's important all there here, is to it. The thing that's important here is this is about public art. This is really important. I mean, this, you know, this is a space for people. And we have to reclaim this space because right now we're in a space that is being terrorized by cedar towing. And unless we can really do something about this, we have to, we have to at least reclaim it in our minds first before we can reclaim it in our lives. All right, we are in the deepest, darkest recesses of most forested, plush and lush, rainforest tropical Africa. You can see there are trees, a lot of dense foliage, maybe some animals hiding out, you don't really know. 
you're kind of too scared to even really try to figure it out. You're just trying to stay alive. So you can see it spans out, it surrounds you. It really just covers the entirety of your space. And there's some mountains, the sky, and lo, there's a hut, some people. And in fact, there's another fire. I was born there. At least it looks like the place. It's different because there's another right there. This is a different kind of world, people. It's definitely something.